So our research and the research of many of my colleagues in the field has found that um, there are abundant myeloid cells in tumors. Uh, as a tumor grows, it often grows very slowly. And once it reaches um, a certain stage, which used to be considered the, um, the angiogenic switch, it's also an inflammation switch where uh, a numerous macrophages, granulocytes, and monocytes are recruited into tumors. And because of the nature of the tumor microenvironment, which is hypoxic and, um, and, and uh, metabolically unfavorable for pro-inflammatory macrophage development, most of these myeloid cells are uh, wound healing type or immune suppressive. They secrete numerous factors that can inhibit uh, T cell recruitment. They can promote um, matrix production in fibroblasts that also provide a barrier to T cell recruitment. And uh, they also promote angiogenesis and tumor metastasis through the secretion of various cytokines. Uh, what our research has shown is there are two strategies that we can use to combat this uh, inadvertent um, uh, immune, unproductive immune response, which is to try to block the recruitment of myeloid cells into tumors through blocking cytokines or, or receptors. And the other is to alter their transcriptional state or repolarize them. So they become more pro-inflammatory and promote T cell activation. And so this PI3 kinase gamma inhibitor does both, in fact. It blocking uh, PI3 kinase gamma prevents uh, myeloid cells from attaching to the endothelium and entering the tumors. That was the finding that Michael Schmidt uh, discovered in 2011. And it also uh, promotes uh, a repolarization of those cells that have entered the tumor. And this includes, uh, this was studies done by Megan Kanita. So for example, when we uh, inhibit PI3 kind of gamma in tumors, we observe that myeloid cells produce chemoattractants for T cells, such as CXCL9 and 10, and also uh, um, tumor killing factors, such as nitric oxide and um, reactive oxygen species, and also um, uh, IL-12 and other factors that stimulate T cell proliferation and activation. So inhibiting uh, piathrokinase gamma can pr promote a dramatic um, uh, change in the tumor microenvironment, and we have seen that in numerous animal models. Uh, and particularly, we observe that inhibiting PI3 kinase gamma uh, strongly inhibits metastasis in animal models uh, that are considered to be good uh, representations of tumor metastasis.